want to see uh, some ticks here so that we can know whether our message was received or uh, seen. Okay, so the, the thing, the file we have to check for is not charts.php, but because remember, we are simply loading in a function here called message right and message left. So since our messages, our own messages are on the right, so it means we have to edit the message right and put ticks there. We don't need the ticks on these messages here, only on our own messages. All right, so to do that, we have to go to the API.php because that's where those functions are and they are down here. So once again, it's the message right, which is this one right here. So I just want to put this under right under the image right there so actually this would be a bit tricky right under the image unless i put the image inside a div okay so there's a div right here i don't know what this div is all about oh it's the dot right there okay so similar to the dot we need to we need to add one more here. So instead of using a div, because if you remember very well, we did something like, what was this message right div? Where was this? I should have done a, I should have used the first child or something like that. So there's message right div, this one. So if I add another div, it's going to use the same styles that are here, which means it's going to be right at the, uh, on top of that one. Or this one here so we could actually utilize this same dot right here by putting an image inside it to signify whether our message was actually received or not so what I will do is go back to api.php so right inside this uh, we will put some question marks but before oh if statement sorry but before we do that let's just add an image here and let's see source like so and so that we can see uh, if we can pull it off okay so to see a message here an image here I'm just going to copy what we had written here because the messages are in the same location so I'm going to copy this and put it there UI messages but my message here is tick so I have done I've gone ahead and loaded this image, the blue ticks into Photoshop and then changed their color to gray so that I have gray and blue. But if you don't find these on the internet, don't worry, I'll put a link in the description to the same files. Okay, so let's go back here. So one is tick.jpg, so I can just put a simple style in here and say something like uh, width. Now, if I go to index.php, I can check the width of this. Width and height are 20 pixels. So I could copy this and simply say 20 pixels. Let's start from there. So the moment I hit the save button here, it's going to refresh here. So we'll see the results in real time. I don't have to refresh this page. And there we go. So now we are seeing a message that was not... Uh, the image that wasn't found that's because instead of jpeg it's png so let me save that again come back here i should see some blue ticks and there we go some blue ticks right there so they're being squashed so what i will do is set both the width and the height like so width height like that and wait for it there we go all right so the image um styling here is all funky but that's probably because if we go to index.php on message right we have message right oh sorry there message right img so this means that these styles will will be applied to any images inside this div and this includes this one right there so what we want to do is counter these that are here for example these uh, border radius so 50% yeah which I think is okay and then there's a border 
of white so what we can do is remove the float the margin and the border so let's see here there's a div so what i can do instead is simply cut out these and let me remove those styles there come back to index.php i think i'm better off doing it from here so i can make a comparison so i'll duplicate this and simply say div like so so inside that main div whatever image is inside a div will have these right here so let's change a few things here uh, for example the width and the height so let's put uh, 20 there 20 and say float none and margin zero pixels border radius uh, you can leave that be and then here border none so because I've changed the index.php page I'll have to refresh this one in order to see these results so there you see some uh, blue ticks in there let me um, let me reduce their size a little bit more or what I could do is increase the width of these round ones so let me try this for a second if that's actually better and maybe not so this is just a matter of um, adjusting to suit your needs so i'm going to try 18 pixels here 18 pixels until you get something that you actually want so let me try this again and there we go so we see the blue ticks there so you can design this as 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 need uh, as the need arises or what I could do is I could say uh, position uh, absolute like so position absolute and then I can add a top of let's say uh, 30 pixels something like this to move it down so let's see how that works okay so you see the ticks are down there and then I could put uh, right like so and say 30 pixels like that so let me refresh again and there we go so that was a bit much so now these are not actually square images the tick the tick is not a square image it's wider than its height so what i can do here the width i can say maybe 25 and then right should be 10 something like this so let me refresh one more time and there we go so you see those ticks right underneath so i think this kind of looks much better so you see like that and now let's try the let me go to api.php and let's try the tick gray now since it's the same file it's going to fit right in there so i can just wait to see that and there we go so there's the gray good okay so now we just need an if statement right here so let me go down here uh, return so what i can do is this presents a little bit of a problem so right here instead of returning this because i can't tell it to return an if statement in there as well so what i will do is in order to accommodate that if statement i will assign this to a variable so i'm just going to say a you can use any variable here is equal to that and then i can return the a at this point like that so i assign all this text into that variable and then return that that way i can step out of this a at this point like so so I've assigned A to that, and then I can reassign at this point here. I can say A, I'll put a full stop and equal to like that, so that I'm adding to the A again, then I can add one of these. So there are two options here. There's either the, the gray one or the non-gray, like so. 
like that. And then I'm going to say a dot equals like that. So I'm going to duplicate this because there are two possibilities here. There's just the tick and then there's the gray. So what I'll say here is that add an if statement. I'm going to say if, so we know that the data is contained in data. Raw contains the user data. So what I want is data here. So I'm going to say if data, um, if data received or data seen, just like that, let's start with the seen first. So if data seen, I just need to do it like that. I don't need to say is equal to one or is equal to two because one corresponds to true, zero is false. So it will still work like this. So I'm going to say else, move this over like that. So if data seen, uh, we're going to do that. And then it's not just an else, it's going to be an else if statement because if none of this is true, we don't need an complete else. We can just ignore this part right here and that will be fine. So what I can say is seen else if data received. Now the reason we're not starting with the received is because received always starts by being one here. So received starts. So imagine a situation where received is one and then seen is also one. So this thing is going to come here and say if received and then it will pass through here but the problem is received will always be one for as long as this is uh, the scene is one so once it gets to received which we'll put here it will always show just the, re the received and never seen so that's why it's better to start with seen and then received so that it can check here for example this is one so to check if seen is zero and then go to received and show us that one. If both of these are one, we don't need to see the received, we just need to see the seen. So it will check is this one and it will show that one, which is still fine. Okay, so received is gray, seen is that. And once I save this, I am going to see a possible result here. And unfortunately, I am not seeing that result. So something is uh, the 